Hey everybody, this video is gonna suck. Let me just tell you that right now. I just got a message from somebody complaining that their Christmas pith box was terrible and horrible and it had a $2 plastic knife and all they had was two 12 inch strands of paracord and some candy and a keychain whistle and why, why didn't they get a better box? And they thought Piff was, you know, they saw all the great Christmas Piff stuff and couldn't figure out why they didn't get that. And if that was the only incident of complaining or begging or I would just let it go. You guys, Piff is not a collection boost. It's not something that. You're going to look back next year and think, oh man, Piff changed my life. My my safe queen safe drawer is full of Piff knives. It just made everything better. This is probably something you're going to get on Piff. A kind of a cool Ozark Trail knife. This is like a Piff knife. I went out the other day, bought a bunch of these for Piff. This, if you're lucky, you might get a $20 Ganzo for Piff. Maybe. But you think about it, we sent out 500... We sent out 500 boxes last year. If everyone received a $20 knife, that's $10,000 just for the knives. And, and it just doesn't come out that I can afford it and that people are sending in stuff like that. A bunch of people last year got Simba. Simba. And, but you're never... Probably ever, never, never going to get a PM2 type knife in your pith box. Ever. Because if I get a PM2 for pith, I'm going to sell it and get five, five of these or ten of these or something. That way I can spread the pith joy around more people. And despite the horrible rumor going around, spread by... Bullies, Microtech bullies and such, and Clemson fans, there are no Demkos. There are no Demkos in Piff. And I really wish I could. I wish I was super rich and I would make everybody happy. And I would make everybody's in the group. I would just send out stuff and I would do it. I, You know I would. I would just make everybody happy. But it's just not that way. This is more about people thinking about you. This is more about, hey, somebody's thinking about you. Somebody thought enough about the group to send in a bunch of the Ozark Trail knives. Or somebody sent in a couple $20 knives and wanted you to be happy. And if you didn't get one, it's totally random. The knives in boxes are sent out totally random. In fact, this guy over here... He got a knife that he sent in for Piff to give away. He, that's what he got for Christmas or for Piffmas. He didn't complain. It was kind of funny, but that just shows. Totally random. And, and if you get an Ozark Trail or you get a $2 plastic knife or whatever, remember, they sp I spent, I didn't spend, but the group spent 7 bucks shipping. And then you got some lollipops. And you got some 550 And I always, I send enough 550 I usually send two strands of enough 550 to make a lanyard. I'm not sending enough to make lanyard, you know, 550 bracelets or to make you some booties out of. It's just, it's just about, hey, you know, I'm thinking about you kind of thing. But I'll tell you what, the complaining and everything is kind of getting old. I love Piff. I, I love making people happy and I love people knowing that we're thinking about them and stuff like that. But imagine this. Imagine you got a hundred, hundred and seventy gorgeous members of the opposite sex. If you're, you know, or same sex, whatever, you know. I'm just saying, there's a hundred and fifty gorgeous people out there that you want to give a smooch to, and you knew that thirty of them were going to give you a good smooch. A hundred and twenty of them were going to you know, smooch you on the cheek. And then let's say uh, 10 of them, we're going to punch you in the junk. 
it just gets all getting punched in the junk. Even though you're getting to smooch 100, you know, 30 of them and 120 of them are giving you a kiss on the cheek and you get blessings and you get tired of getting junk punched. And I'm getting tired of getting junk punched by people sitting in complaints and where's my box and how come I only got one box and why ain't you sending me a better thing? It's just, like I said, if this was the only guy and if this is the first time, this, I wouldn't say anything, but this is getting to be an issue and I just, it needs to be addressed. I'm sitting here taking my time. Y'all, a bunch of people are sending in stuff. People that don't have money. People that are on fixed incomes are sending in stuff. They don't have a hope of, oh, yeah, I'm going to work some overtime or whatever, and I'm going to pay for PIP. No, they take money away from whatever they're going to get for, let's say, food or individual things that they could buy for themselves, and they send it in, and it's not right that y'all are complaining. And it's not all y'all. It's not you. It, it's you. You know, there's... Like I said, there's about 180 people on the PIF list, and it's, it's getting smaller because we're getting rid of some people, and that's unfortunate. But if y'all can't, if the people that aren't thankful can't be thankful, then you're you're gonna leave. And I don't want to lose subs, and I don't want to lose group members. But Dad Gummit, it's getting old. The the spiritual junk punch that I get from people. From having to explain why your box wasn't awesome, or why you didn't get more than one piff box, or you haven't got your piff box, just it's just getting old. And I'm, I'm not tired of the whole piff idea, but I'm gonna make it to where it's better for me, and that's gonna be getting rid of the complainers and the ingrates. So, all right, yay, yay for happy videos. And coming, and I had a cool video all planned out. I was gonna review the greatest Ganzo ever, the greatest Ganzo Firebird of all time, and then this knuckleheadedness happens. So I will let y'all go.